Well, the closing bell on Wall Street was hardly a death knell tonight, but it was certainly an indication of just how sick our economy is these days. And that sickness only compounded by fear. Anyone with a 401k can reasonably worry that the euro might crash, that unemployment could get worse, that recession could be our new normal, all factors that played into today's big sell-off. But in an effort to replace some of that fear with knowledge, we have some smart people. The four big questions of the day. So how bad was it really? It was bad. The four and a third percent drop in the Dow, the worst since the Great Recession crash of late 08. Tough day on Wall Street today. Today's massive sell-off on Wall Street. Stocks around the world take a major tumble. Both NASDAQ and the S&P were down around 5%, and today caps a brutal couple weeks. The markets have gobbled up almost a trillion dollars in wealth over that stretch, and the average American 401k is almost $12,000 lighter tonight than it was two Thursdays ago. So who's to blame? Well, some on Twitter want to pin all this on the Smurfs. After all, the Dow Jones is down more than 850 points since they rang the bell, but there's a lot more legitimate anger aimed at the cartoon characters in Washington. After weeks of political mud wrestling, America came within 10 hours of proving to the world it can no longer pay its bills. There isn't much Washington can do right now, and even if there was, there isn't much trust that they will do the right thing. But we can also aim a stink eye at the Italians, Spaniards, and Greeks. Their economies are in worse shape than ours. And this whole sell-off started when the European markets lost faith that there's any fix for it. Some guy in Athens dodges his taxes, and you get scalped. Such is life in our ever more connected world. So with so much gloom around the globe, is it time to sell, sell, sell? Well, all the money men and women we heard from tonight say, not yet. A snapback seems more likely, could be in the cards, definitely at a lower level after this quick hideous drop, but you know what? It's a snapback. Just about everything was down today. Commodities, oil, even gold, which means today's dump was first driven by short-term investors out to make a quick buck on bad news, and then accelerated by everyone else looking to get out of stocks and stick some cash in the mattress. Apple, McDonald's, Walmart, all those companies are just as valuable tonight as they were this morning. And some believe corrections like this are the best time for smart investors to find some bargains and make some money. But all agree that we are in for a rough ride. But could it be so bad that we're doomed for a double dip recession? Economists believe that uh, there's a real chance, a real high probability uh, that the economy will go into another recession or a double dip. I think the risk of a double dip recession has gone up. People worry about a double dip recession, and I don't think that's going to happen. I think the corporations have plenty of cash on hand. I think at some point they will start either repurchasing their shares or starting expanding business again when they feel the need to. The grindingly slow recovery got even slower in April and May and then went backwards in June. Though average folks have more savings, stores are busier, and gas prices are dropping, the housing market is still brutal, and unemployment continues to hang like a cement block around America's neck. Even when there are jobs, people can't, they're willing to relocate to get those jobs, but they can't do that because they can't sell their homes. Problems seem to be compounded all the time in this environment. If tomorrow's jobs report doesn't meet or exceed expectations, brace yourself. Make sure that you have enough cash because this volatility will continue for a while. Second, don't panic sell unless you have to raise cash. Some of these stocks will come back and just tighten your, your seatbelt, but be ready because this volatility is fundamentally driven and therefore is gonna be with us for a while.